I guess the top G becomes a bottom G. Hello everyone, welcome back to my tech talk. Today we're going to be talking about the best top G in the world. Maybe everyone likes him, maybe some people don't like this guy, but, the t but he is a top G. Or he claims to be a top G. His name is Andrew Tate. This all started when Andrew Tate got fucked on Twitter, so Andrew Tate decided to start off today by saying, Hello, Reddit Thunberg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a W16 8.0 L Quad Turbo. My two Ferrari 812 Compact Zone have 6.5 L V12S. This is just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection and my respective enormous emissions. Then he provides a picture of him with his car with the number 16 in the middle. I, I guess flex your cars, I guess, to some person that probably doesn't give 10 fucks about your cars. Then Greta, the person Andrew Tate was flexing his cars to, actually responded to Andrew Tate by saying, Yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getafuckinglife.com. What a... And that shit killed Andrew Tate in likes on Twitter. Then Andrew Tate made some like response video, which I'm not really gonna go over because not that, but that's not really that important. But what is important is the goddamn pizza box in the goddamn video. Because police used that pizza box to find Andrew Tate and locate where his ass is and arrested his ass. Which was, which that's basically the best part of this entire shit show drama that we've covered so far today. To me, this is the first time I have ever dove into the Andrew Tate hellhole where. I've really kind of saw the whole Andrew Tate because I had because I've heard of Andrew Tate for quite a while I've heard his name being thrown around but I don't really look into him because that seems like a boring ass topic and probably looks like one but like now I'm not sure I mean him getting destroyed on Twitter when I see someone get destroyed on Twitter I automatically think they're a dumb dumb and I guess well I mean, I mean, this is the whole. I mean, I don't really want to become like an Andrew Tate YouTuber. This is probably the fir the last, the first and last time I ever cover Andrew Tate, because well, I don't want to get into the Andrew Tate hellhole. 